To all the filmmakers out there, when it comes to crowdfunding, I wanted to make you aware of one important thing that I certainly didn't uh, think about or realize until I experienced it firsthand. Now, I'm not sure there's a way to necessarily avoid it, but by knowing it, at least you can plan accordingly for it. And that is when you do a crowdfund and it's kind of like an all or nothing crowdfund, whether it's through Kickstarter, Seed and Spark, or uh, other such uh, platforms, what normally happens is that when someone pledges, they input in their information, sure, and they pick an amount that they want to pledge. But if it's an all or nothing campaign, meaning you have to reach a certain amount in order for the campaign to you know, be considered a success and for the person who's putting on the campaign, aka you, the filmmaker, to get that money, uh, you have to reach th that threshold, right? Otherwise, it doesn't. And so the way it works out is the people that are pledging, they don't get charged until the end of the campaign if that campaign is successful. Well, what does that mean and, and why is this a problem? Well, the problem becomes that then all of a sudden, you know, the campaign's over, their credit card goes to be charged, and what if it's declined on that day, right? It could be for a number of reasons. Maybe literally their card expired, they, they had to get a new one because of other fraud, um, you know, uh, Apple Pay is a card that is notorious for, or at least I, in my experience, that just gets declined ad nauseum. And so all of a sudden, you know, you feel like you have a, you know, whatever amount of money you set out to make. I mean, let's talk truly hypothetical, but not outside the realm of possibility, which is let's say you're raising a million dollars for a project for your film. Well, okay, cool. On paper, you've reached that goal. Then the campaign's over, cool, you know, high fives, champagne, like rah, 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 great. However, when the credit cards go to get charged, let's say, you know, all but one of those credit cards of, you know, however many people, thousands upon thousands of people that may have pledged, you know, those get declined and only one of them goes through and you're, now you're end, ending up with $10. What the hell do you do, right? Like that can be quite alarming. And that's why I wanted to make you aware that this is a literal possibility. Now, you can rectify that, of course, right? You have to, but that means you have to get in touch with these people in whatever facet you can, you know, uh, if you know them, great, because you can reach out directly. If you don't, you have to be at the whims of essentially whatever email or contact information that they may have provided for you um, in the crowdfund and so forth. But, you know, you try to rectify this. Now, as far as my understanding, all these crowdfund campaigns, you know, they'll still, it's not like if you don't get whatever goal you set out to do based on declined cards that you won't get any money, you'll still get in this example, the $10, but what the hell are you going to do that when you were anticipating a million dollars and, you know, on paper, yeah, it looks like, cool, it was such a success and you, you made a million dollars to make your movie, when in fact, all you have is $10 to work with. But you, you know, you, you, you do an outreach and you try to, you know, you do messaging and it, it becomes like a secondary crowdfund <laughs> just to collect the money. Um, and the good news is most, you know, from my experience, People are very much like, oh, okay, yeah, no problem. Uh, totally, uh, sorry, sorry that happened um, in that way. But of course, you know, some people might be on vacation at the time, so you might not hear from them for two weeks and this and that. So it can throw a monkey wrench into the whole process. And, you know, again, I, I, I don't necessarily have the smoothest path forward apart from this is a possibility accept it as a possibility, deal with the possibility as it comes and have contingencies, you know? Um, so yeah, and, 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 and maybe, you know, if there is a possibility, it's as soon as someone pledges, you know, when you send them a thank you for pledging, also just saying like, hey, by the way, um, the campaign ends on this date, that's when your credit card will actually be charged. So if you could just do us a favor, um, you know, just look out for in case like it pops up as a fraud charge, you know, um, if you could rectify it, blah, 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 right? So to the best of your abilities, get ahead of it um, would probably help.
But again, it's it's one of those things that's sort of out of your control and is, is a little bit wild in that way. Uh, I'm curious, you know, if you have thoughts of your own, uh, if you have experiences with this, you know, um, it's it's wild. And, and, it, and it's something like on my end, we the real life example is um, we had like $5,000 worth of credit cards declined for a project where we made... 24,000 in our crowdfund. And yeah, so that's a significant chunk of that entire proportion. Um, and luckily, you know, through this process that I'm highlighting, we were able to pretty much get every single dollar back. Um, or every, every, every pledge that was, you know, submitted, we ended up getting, uh, rectifying the decline charges and so forth. So, um, yeah, it's, it's annoying. It's frustrating, but I just want to make you aware of it so you can deal with it better if, and hopefully never, hopefully never, but if it arises in your case. So thank you as always. Truly appreciate it. As I said, comment down below and I'll see you next time.